All right, what's up everybody? This video is gonna show you how to do one air flare in only five minutes, but you gotta focus. Now there's some prerequisites you're gonna need. First of all, I want you to have some pretty good upper body strength. You're gonna have to be able to do at least 25 decline push-ups with good form. If you wanna develop some good upper body strength, I suggest getting this program. It's called Bodyweight Beast. It's one of the best calisthenics program out there. It's over 60 pages, you follow along, It'll get you real strong. When you're done with that, you'll be, sh I'm certain you're gonna be strong enough to learn all kinds of power moves. Prereq number two is you're gonna have to be somewhat kind of flexible. Also, you develop flexibility in body weight beast, but nevertheless, you wanna be able to do about a 90 degrees with the legs at least. You don't have to go 180, but just about 90 degrees, okay? Prereq number three, you're gonna have to do at least one hand hop on both arms, okay? So one hand hop looks like this. One and then on the other arm, two, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy, just one on each arm. That's it, those are the prereqs. Now you can learn one air flare in five minutes. Let's get started right now. All right, for the first minute, I'm gonna want you to practice the setup. You're gonna decide which way you wanna go, spread your legs, take the hand, okay? I'm going counterclockwise, if you wanna go the other way, use the opposite hand and opposite legs. Take the hand, the hand that goes down first, the opposite leg kicks up. Okay, so we're gonna do that for the first 30 seconds of the one minute. One, okay, down, kick, two, okay? Don't just go down and then kick up. You wanna work on a turn and pivot on the opposite foot. So turn, pivot, okay, turn, pivot. Ooh. All right, 30 seconds are done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, pivot, kick, switch, okay? Turn, pivot, kick, jump off the pivoting foot. So I turn, pivot, kick, and try and hang out on that arm. You should have the strength to do that. You should be able to do 25 decline push-ups. Ready? Turn, pivot, kick, follow for the next 30 seconds. Now, for the next 30 seconds, turn, pivot, kick, and then you put the other hand down and you begin to shift the weight. Take 15 seconds to chill. For the next 30 seconds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get used to the hip motion. So once you get into almost a handstand on both hands, you're gonna get down on all fours, spread your legs like this, you're gonna kick up, okay? You're gonna kick up, you're gonna kick up, you're gonna kick up. And once you get used to holding your upper body at about a 45 degree angle, just do that for 15 seconds. You're a minute and 30 seconds in, all right? Now, I want you to go back to the pivots for the next 30 seconds, but you're gonna switch hands back onto this one. So, turn, pivot, kick, switch hands. Turn, pivot, kick, switch hands. For the next 30 seconds, what we are going to do is we are going to chill out. <laughs> okay, so, all right, for the next 30 seconds, we're gonna get used to the jump, okay? You get into a push-up position like this, or like, you know, push-up plank position. You're gonna go on the hand you jump off of, you're gonna get into like a side plank position like this, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on throwing your arm over and catching it, okay? But the key point is, when you throw it, you wanna jump off that other arm. Watch, watch me, watch me. So I go throw, jump, oh, and then I catch. And I want you to work on doing it solid and fast. So do that for the next 30 seconds. Now you're three minutes in, oh dear. Find a pole or a bench or something about hip height. What you wanna do is you wanna get up into that decline push-up position like this. You're gonna put the swooping leg down. That's the leg that swoops under and up. So if I'm jumping off my left hand, I'm putting my left leg down first. And what I'm gonna get used to doing is putting a lot of weight on this arm and swooping, okay? Swooping under and up, like this. Under and up. Rotate on the pole with the heel. All right, under and up. Oh. And then, just like I did so, I want you to start throwing it, just like that. So for the first 30 seconds of that, you're gonna work on just going under and up, under and up, and then when you're feeling comfortable, under, up, and throw. It should only take about a minute, and you'll get used to it, especially if you have the arm strength. Bodyweight beast. Once again, foot up, all right? Swooping foot down like this. Okay, start it up, swoop it down, swoop it up, bring the other arm up like this. All right, work on this, and then when you're ready, you wanna throw, oh. And get used to always keeping the hips over the arms, over the shoulders. So you're four minutes in, you're gonna switch legs for 30 seconds, and you're gonna get used to keeping that other leg, not the swooping leg, but the leg that's on top, and you're gonna used to keep keeping that up at all times, okay? Up here at all times. Focus, man, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 
bah, bah, like that, throw over. To get, get used to keeping that leg up at all times. So now for the last 30 seconds, we're gonna tie it all together. And you guys are gonna get one air flare. Here's the key point, guys. Do not let your lower body get away from your upper body. Don't, I see this far too often, okay? Lower body goes like this, and then they try and throw the upper body. And this leg just shoots right down. You wanna keep the legs over the head at all times, and you wanna just do little turns in the lower body and then shift the upper body. Keep it really tight, okay? Subscribe right now, because I got more five minute tutorials coming out. Daily videos Monday to Friday, coming out this summer 2016. Like, comment, share this video, start the controversy. Five minutes, okay, too bad. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one, everybody, peace. Have you ever done a kip up before? No, I don't even know what that is. Ready to be impressed, baby.